Hello and welcome to Trailblazers Festival of Speed. Tonight we're in the purple lobby at Interlagos for the Group 3 qualifying. Our runners tonight are yours truly, Oz Red Raptor, running the number 9 Viper. We have Kez Audio in the number 72 Corvette, Glamboss in the number 13 Viper, Robo Sport in the 51 Lexus. We have Huey in the 22 AMG, Mixer in the 112 Lexus, Captain SLM Psycho Smiley in the number 3 Viper, and rounding out the field tonight we have Tony Two Sips in the number 44 AMG. On our screen at the moment we've got our one lap dash which we use to get the races juices flowing and we've got Raptor giving Cap a couple of taps as they head down the back straight. Um, it should be an interesting quali lobby. Practice times have been fairly constant between a 130.996 from Raptor right through to most people being in the 131, so it should be a very competitive qualification. So just watching Raptor hunting down Captain and Huey as we head into the final horseshoe before going down through the sweeping left-hander. Another tap there from Raptor who will back out of it. Coming through into the back section. Raptor again looking to try to hunt down. I can see in the rear view there's a couple of tasty moves. Into Jung Cow for the first time in the one lap dash. Captain looks like he's got it done over Kiwi. And we're going to be flipping round. Raptor seeing if he can get up the inside. He's lost the slipstream. Should have stayed behind him. Rookie error there from Raptor. And that's how they will finish the first lap of fun. Means absolutely nothing but a good time was had by all. Kez Audio spinning out the back with penalties. We hope that isn't an omen for things to come. We are just about to reset the uh, lobby and get our first qualifier underway. The thing about Interlagos is it is a very interesting track. Um, been used quite often and pretty much if you don't know the track, uh, the race starts in front of the Tribuna section which basically features a long straight and then we head down into the centre S's. As we come out of the set of S's, it connects with the Curva de Sol, which is basically the sun turn, and then into the uh, Ruta Opposa, which is the opposite straight, which really was an unused back straight in the pre-1990 circuit. We've then got two left-hand downhand turns called the Descent de Logo, Lake Descent, Mergulo, Dive. Sorry, I can't pronounce those properly. We then go into our two horseshoes, which is the Feridara and La Hingia, which is the orange turn. We come through the small pine tree, through Duckbill, and then the two left-hand turns at the end called Junacau or Junction. So that's pretty much um, the track, as we now have um, Lambos or Donkey Boner heading out on track for his warm-up lap. He'll get a chance to warm up his tyres. This is Lambos's first season with Trailblazers in the uh, full series. Last season he made his debut in our Trailblazers Cup, which is our entrance series. And uh, his living is looking absolutely magnificent as he worked his way around in our outlap. So for those of you that don't know, the format is quite simple. Top 10 shootout style, one outlap, two hot laps with your best time recorded and puts you into your lobby placement. Lobby placement is 75% based on quality times, 15% race history and 10% your attendance rate just to make sure that we've always got full lobbies as Lambos rounds the final turn, heads along pit straight to start his quality lap. Crossing the start-finish time now. 
very wide entry. There's a couple lines through turn one. He's got through the centre S very, very nicely. A little bit deep there on the exit. May cost him a little bit of time. Late break there as he heads round the left-hander. A little wide, touches the dirt. It's going to cost him a few tenths. Some really nice lines there. He's really starting to get his lap together. Critical corner this one to get us to get a really good exit because it sets you up for your run into the pit straight through Jim Cow. Little lift. Nice exit, takes second as he drives up the hill. This will be a nice opening lap. As he crosses the line, we have a 132-115 as the opening for a cleaner entry into turn one. Nice exit. And drives down the reader opposite. Really, really nice. Be interesting to see his splits. And he's up in the first sector, so this is a really, really nice as we go on board with Lambos. Into the horseshoe. Uses all the road, really nice exit. wide on the apex might cost him a little bit of time. Really hooking up that Viper and he's gone purple again. It's definitely going to improve his time. Back on board as we cross, come up to the start finish line. We flick to the timing monitor. And we have a 132103. Congratulations, that's a nice starting time. We now have Tony Two Sips starting his uh, run. He's already completed his warm up lap. Tony being at the road sick racing team. And he's in the AMG. His car was very, very popular in season three of Trail, having the Festival of Speed. It's uh, starting to become a little bit more used through the racing community. Coming down into turn one. A little bit wide, will cost him some tents. But he's hooked up the bottom exit quite nicely, so hopefully it won't cost him too much time. Road Sick Racing Team is made up by uh, Musos and uh, Roadies. Uh, and they're all very good friends, so it's quite a unique team. Coming down into the series of uh, hairpins, using all of the road. Is the apex there as we head up the back into the second horseshoe? As we make our run down through Junco.
really nice exit, nice and flowy. He's got a 132.103 to beat. Now Tony will readily admit that his qualifying isn't the best part of his racing. And it's uh, 1.33, so he's lost a little bit of time there. Red Raptor jumping in the uh, Scorch Media Viper, the number nine. He put in a uh, 1.39 in practice and earlier today, so we're expecting quite a quick lap. However, he's got out of the pits a little early. The game's thrown him out. So I'm just going to back some speed off here, try to hold my line and make sure I don't encroach on Tony's second run without damaging my tyres too much. Haven't raced the Viper in a full season before. It's got lots of potential. Um, but with the Festival of Speed, I felt the characteristics of the Viper were going to really set us up for a, um, a good season. Nice clip at the apex there, nice and tight, bring it through without too much wheel spin. Really don't want to be damaging the tyres too much at this stage. Just back it off a little here, just give Tony a little bit more space. Oh sugar, we're in trouble. Well that's going to leave a mark. Crap all over the tyres, not the way we wanted to start this quali run. Gather it together, Raptor, deep breath. As we start our run, uh, with the crap on the tyres, I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful. Nice exit, and away we go. Come on, Raptor, deep breath. Start the finish line to start our lap. Come on, go pull up. Really happy. Yeah, nice. Shit, I hope I don't get a penalty. No, all good. Nice, nice. Grip not there yet. We've gone purple. Nice, nice, happy with that entry exit. Holding good speed. Nice, didn't drop too much speed. Okay, hit this apex. Nice. Little wide, little wide, don't worry about it. Head down, nailed his exit. Purple. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, nice speed. All right. There's tense to make up, right, that we can do this. We're purple, 131.7. Nice. Better. Yeah, nice exit, use all of the road nicely. And we're purple again. Nice lap so far, Raptor. Credit will get your braking right for next turn. You want to get a turn, Timber, you don't want to wipe too much speed off. Good call, give you a bit more punch. Ooh, tight, but you got away with it. Better exit. Let's bring it home, Raptor. 
The ice axe that hit the apex, they're purple again. All a little sideways, they've caught it. It's going to cost us at least two, three tenths. We drive across the line. And that's a 131.3. Really happy with that recovery after the mishap early. Uh, best I can do. But yeah, really, really happy. Hearing reports that Span House has done a 135, which makes him the quickest driver to run so far. Pretty confident the 131.3 will see me into the top lobby. But yeah, really happy as we reset the track for the next runners. Hope you're enjoying this. The great thing about the uh, quali runs or the top 10 shootout is that not only do you have your competitors in the lobby, so you've got the pressure of people watching you, but obviously we're streamed out to the world. Um, so the more eyes on you, the more pressure you've got to perform. It's something that we believe is pretty unique to Trailblazers with four concurrent qualifying lobbies placing you mate against mate, car against car under BOP conditions. The season three Trailblazers is something that's pretty unique. Uh, we're looking at tracks that we don't otherwise run in the championship and something that, um, well, to be honest, we didn't want to see the same cars on the same tracks every season. As Kiwi takes to the track now, Kiwi's been burning up the track in uh, practice. So again, we're expecting a really nice lap from Kiwi. He's been with us for a couple of months and working his way up from our bottom lobby through into the top lobbies. And I've got a feeling that um, we might be in for something special from the cue ball. So as I mentioned, we're at Interlagos as Kiwi warms up his tyres. Our round one race is at Monza and we've removed the chicane, which uh, really should be interesting. The round I'm looking forward to the most is a Blue Moon Bay Speedway, which is round two. That should be very interesting. I think our stewards might be a little busy. We're there at Le Mans or Circuit de la Sarthe. And again, there's no chicanes. It's all about speed. Kiwi warming up his tyres nicely. We're there at St. Croix C and finish the season at Spa. And our champions race is at the Sedena Road Track A. As Kiwi comes up into the pit straight to start his opening lap. Need that cone anyway, Kiwi. See what his first split time's going to be. It's a 23 2. That, that's a solid, solid, solid run from Kiwi. Mad Mitch has just put in a 131 146. So that's a great time from Mad Mitch. DK's done a 131.559, so the times are really starting to be quick. QE holding it together nicely, holding his nerve. Could possibly use a little bit more track, would give him a tenth or two, but this is nice, neat and tidy. So Tony Two Sips finished with a 133.192. As Kiwi makes his way into pit straight. And let's have a look at what sort of time he's putting down. 
is a nice, clean, solid lap. And that's a really, really nice, a 131.347. Just a tenth, or just under a tenth down on Raptor. So this is a really, really great start by Kiwi. We got another one into the uh, 131s with uh, Dan Zambi doing a 131.679. So the times are really, really stacking up. Aussie Copite's done a 132.197, but the uh, quality of the day so far is Bans House with a 135.41. Nice, nice entry there. Kiwi sets his line up nice. He's not leaving anything in the tank, uses a little bit more road. Another really high quality lap coming in from Kiwi. A little bit wide on the exit there, but he's pulled it in nicely. He's dropped a tenth or two. But his uh, first lap, from what we're seeing from the other quality lobbies, he's really going to stand up. He's really done his team proud. Member of the EBM Motorsport Racing Team. Personal sponsor is Ben Blackburn Racing. And uh, he's really put in a high quality performance tonight. As he crosses the line, couldn't better his time as he bounces off walls into light. 131.347, great work, Kiwi. Eagle Run's just posted a 131.2, so these are some high quality times. EBM Brandioza with a 131.604. So, looks like the 31 lows are the place you want to be for a place in the top lobby. Mixer hits the track and he's finishing his warm up and starting his hot lap. Car looks suspended. Mixer is one of our privateers this season. Okay, that's a really dodgy camera angle. Thank you, GT Sport. We might need to reset this view, I think, because um, TD Sport really isn't making it easy for us to uh, show you Mixer's car. Of course, we all want to look at scenery and arm codes, don't we, everybody? The joys of live streaming. Yeah, let's reset this view. Here, Mixer, where are you? Sorry, folks, there's not much I can do about this. TD Sport isn't letting me exit this view at the moment. So my apologies to Mixer. Thankfully, it's, it's he, we can see his time on the screen. There we go. As Mixer finally comes in a view. And it's a 132.5 for Mixer. Shimi's just done a 131.349. Gee, that's close there. Crash with a 131.8. One I do apologise, Mixer. I can't change the view. And folks, hope you're still with us. It's rather ridiculous out of GT Sport. I think I'm getting a little dizzy looking at this. Why mixes on track.
Matty P has done a 133.381. And WJ, another one into the 131s with a 131.861. As we finally get a view back from Mixer. And he couldn't better his first lap, so Mixer with a 132.525. As the captain, Psycho Smiley, hits the track, another Viper, another Reaper Raptor. Captain won his lobby last season, didn't drop a race over the five rounds. Each round there's two races and uh, earns his promotion into the top lobby. He drives his Viper well, so we're expecting a really high quality time from Cap as he finishes his outlap. Rick Reigns has put in a 131 398, that's another massive time. And Ben Disco with a 131033, wow. There's absolutely a hair's breadth between these lobby and Captain puts in a really quality first sector. He's really pushing this Viper a little wide there, but no penalty. Using all of the road, got to get your braking marking. Otherwise, if you don't nail that braking uh, with the right brake application as well, you're just going to wipe off too much speed. And it's easy to lose two or three tenths as Captain gets it a little out of shape. Little nervous at the front end. As he comes down into Junk Cow, we go on board up the hill. Nice exit. This will rival QE's time and possibly Raptors. This is a quality lap coming through as he hugs the wall, crosses the line. A little bit slower, a couple of little slides and the nervous front end has cost him just a little bit of time. He's got a little bit of work to do to get back in down into the 31s. We saw him doing 31 ones and 31 twos and threes for fun earlier in practice. As he goes purple, really, really nice first sector. Uses all the road nicely. still looking a little nervous. Really, really nice, sets himself up nice for the horseshoe. Critical not to wipe off too much speed and get good car rotation. Takes a lot of curb, that's a really nice entry. Into Jim Cow. Not purple, but it's a better lap from Cap as he heads up the hill on a pit straight. PJ Max on a 131.284 in the Ford GT, the only Ford GT runner. That's a great time from PJ. As the captain crosses the line and it's a 31.4, so that's a fantastic second lap. Not quite enough to top the lobby, but again, it puts him in the top three at the moment. And that is a really, really nice lap as Tim Turtle does a 131.432. Gee, these times are tight.
Ghazi with a 132.259. Very, very, very competitive lobby as we reset. Shimi, 131.349. I'll just go through some of the timing that we've got at the moment. Most lobbies are almost completed as we reset. But the time of the day, drive of the day so far is Spanhouse in the number 19 Road 6 Racing Corvette with a 130.541. Yes, you heard that. Number two on the list is uh, Ben Disco in the Mad Turtle Racing number four Alfa Romeo with a 131.033. Mad Mitch in the Mad Turtle Racing 76 Aston Martin V12 Vantage with a 131.146. They're your top three across the lobbies at the moment. Barui in the EBM 774 AMG or 747, sorry, uh, 131.195. Evil One in the uh, Reaper Raptor 77 Laxus with a 131.200 PJ Mack in the uh, Road Sick Racing 21 Ford GT he's done a 131.284 and then we have uh, Raptor in the number 9 Reaper Raper, sorry, Reaper Raptor Viper in a 131.335 so that is your top 7 as we're just waiting to uh, reset this lobby and get our next runner on the board. Huey in eighth place in the uh, EBM Motorsport 22 AMG a 131.347 and that's an absolutely fantastic job by Huey hitting the top lobby for the very first time in his Trailblazer career. And in ninth place we have Shimi in the EBM 35 Porsche with a 131.349. Uh, that, that is a really high quality uh, top nine. At the moment, we've then got Rick Green with the other Reaper Raptor 69 Viper with a 131.398. And then the captain in the Reaper Raptor number three Viper with a 131.398. 413. So they're the quickest times we've got at the moment as Robbo starts warming up the tyres, getting ready for his assault of Interlagos. Tonight's stream is proudly brought to you by EBM, Elite Brake and Mechanical, and Scorch Media, Trailblazers' major sponsors. As Robbo really looks to put his um, Lexus, which he's happy with, he's normally a Porsche driver, but for the uh, change of format for Season 5 Group 3, he's into the Lexus and he's quite enjoying it. Coming down into Twin Cow, critical to get the right exit up the hill here. Drops the first to get the turn in and away he goes. Drops the first to get the turn in. Drives through the middle of the center asses. Bouncing off the ref, Liminark uses all the road. Need to hit your braking marker without cutting too much speed or running wide. It's done it nicely. Bouncing off that rev limiter.
little tailly, might cost me a tenth or two. Run wide, brings it through into the junk cow. And we're driving up the hill to pit straight to complete our first lap for Robbo. It's going to be a nice banker. Hopefully he'll be able to pick up and improve on the run, get those nerves out of the road. It is nerve-wracking. 31.5, we picked up some nice time there. Looks good through the centre S's, but the exits got away from him. Another 31 in. Mal with a 131.945. Boss at triple seven, a new runner. The Trailblazers with a 131.9. So some really high quality times coming through. by using all the track. Laps got away from him. He won't, he won't mind too much, not with a 31.5. Our last runner tonight will be Kez Audio in the Roadsick Racing 72 Corvette. He's been struggling to come to grips with it. Very talky car. But congratulations, Robbo. That, that is a fantastic time, a 31.5. Well done. We're seeing some absolutely nuts times at the moment. So far it looks like eight tenths cover the first 20 runners or so. So very competitive on the Trailblazers server. Cares Audio, Road Sick, number, number 72 Corvette. It's a new car for Kez, he normally runs the Supra. He's decided to change it up. The Group 3 Corvette's an interesting car. Brilliant torque, turns like a boat, but when you can hook it up, it, it's, it's really got a great motor under that bonnet, obviously. The sound on board is absolutely spectacular. But it can be a handful and it does like to wear out its fronts. Quite an understeering car too, so it's a brave choice, but when you hook it together, the thing is a rocket ship. That cone, did we? And Cairns crosses the line to start his first flying lap. Into the center S's. Nice use of the apex there, nice exit. Kez has got this all hooked up using all the road. This is gonna be tight. Yes, 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 very, very open, nice opening sector there from Kez. Pedal the metal using all the track. Kez, one of our more experienced racers. 
and he's showcasing that experience now. Sets himself up nicely, nice exit. Could have used possibly a little bit more track. Might cost him a tenth. Be right on board with the Kez Audio Corvette. Nice speed up the hill. This will be a high quality lap from the road sick team captain. Comes in tight to the pit wall. And that is a 31391. That is the third quickest time we've seen on track tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Had to verify the time. Fast and slap is different to the time shown on his uh, Christmas tree. The lap board had verified at 1.31.391. An absolutely brilliant time from Cairns. GT Sport sometimes does GT Sport things, which is why we have multiple timekeepers. As it gets away from Cairns, but he is not going to mind. Has the third quickest qualifier in our lobby. And that time puts him into the top 10 on Trailblazers. Group 3, Quali Board. So congratulations, Kez, and congratulations to all runners. So your top 10, Spanhouse, Ben Disco, Mad Mitch, EBM Barui, Evil One, PJ Mack, Osred Raptor, Kiwi, Shimi, and Kez Audio round out your top 10 in Season 5, Special of Feed, Group 3. Thank you for joining me tonight. Hope you've had a little bit of fun and congratulations to all runners.